we are going to clear this channel. We are going to support everyone who's been affected by this crisis, and we are going to rebuild the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Governor Westmore says response teams are making significant progress in the Key Bridge cleanup efforts. Reporting crews have moved more than 1,300 tons of steel from the Patapsco River. At the same time, the state is pushing a new program meant to help port workers and businesses impacted by the collapse. Jessica Babb was at that announcement and joins us live with the latest on the recovery efforts. Jessica. Well, the recovery operation seems to be moving smoothly. This week alone, they've moved hundreds of tons of steel, and crews are working around the clock to continue to make more progress. But in the meantime, until the port fully reopens, the governor announced a new program to bring more relief to port workers. Even on a cloudy day in Dundalk, sitting behind these flowers and words of healing is a view of the Dolly and the Key Bridge more than three weeks after the collapse. I'm still heartbroken that we still have two unaccounted for souls. In a press conference Friday, Governor Moore says they're taking steps to find them and clear the wreckage from the water. We have now successfully removed around 1,300 tons of steel. He says they've lifted over 120 containers off the dolly, and their goal is to remove 140 containers. Removing them will help them get to pieces of the bridge sitting on the ship. With two large submerged sections of the bridge removed. I'm proud to share uh, that we are actively removing yet another large section from the waterway. I believe we're rigging it up right now. Uh, so we're excited about this work. This is great news as it keeps us on track. Words many who are struggling financially are hoping to hear. We've approved five, $4.54 million in assistance, which will protect the jobs of 824 Marylanders. Governor Moore announcing a new program, the Port of Baltimore Workers Support Program, giving $430 in weekly relief to port workers. It will also help contractors and self-employed workers. We are um, we're going to stay as long as it takes to help as many small businesses as we can. At one of the three business recovery centers, officials with the U.S. Small Business Administration have approved more than $3 million in loans. 59 loans um, that have been approved in the first couple of weeks. And as everyone works to pick up the pieces, I asked Governor Moore if there's been any momentum in additional federal funding to rebuild the bridge. We've been encouraged that there has been a, a real level of momentum on Capitol Hill for that, and the Biden administration have just been absolutely remarkable partners. So we're, uh, we're, we're encouraged, but we also know that, uh, that the work will continue. And as of now, officials are still hoping to fully reopen the port by the end of May. Live in Dundalk, Jessica Babb, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.